there and welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing with you a full review of book one of the Charlotte Mason Elementary Arithmetic series. Wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. You guys, this... I don't even know what to say. I'm speechless. Um, okay, so if you want to know what I thought, keep watching. Oh my goodness, my friends. This math program was a godsend, <laughs> truly. Okay, so a little bit of background. I am an elementary educator. I taught kindergarten, I taught seventh grade, I taught a semester of ninth grade. Um, this has been so wonderful. I was an English major in college. My husband's an engineer. Um, he's wonderful, he's great with math. I was nervous about teaching math to my little one. She's only six, <laughs> it's her first year of math. And even then, it's because I did not enjoy math in school because of the way I learned it, I was nervous about teaching it to her. A little bit of background on the Charlotte Mason Elementary Arithmetic Series. I think that there's book one, book two, and book three. I wanna say Rochelle, who's the, um, the writer of this series, um, she, I believe, has a book four coming out. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, um, but I'm pretty sure that there's going to be, um, yeah, there is gonna be a book four. So I'm very excited. So we are almost done with book one. Um, and we'll move on to book two in the fall. So I actually purchased this um, as a kit. You can buy just the book, but I got the kit as well. It comes with a dry erase board with a blank and um, grid sides, which is this. Um, a dry erase marker, 125 buttons, 125 beads. Here's the buttons. <laughs> 125, or I'm sorry, 110 craft sticks, 110 mini pencils, 25 chenille, chenille, chenille stems, and those are for the beads, um, 25 elastic bands, those are for making 10 bundles, uh, 11 metal rings, three sets of number cards, a felt sheet, and a lacing cord. And those were to make a little coin purse because we use coins quite often in our lessons, actually. Um, a little bit more on that later. But my daughter actually sewed this. It's super cute. She wanted to make her own coin purse. She w had a really huge sewing phase um, the beginning of the school year. And so when she found out we needed to make one, she did not want to do the felt project. She wanted to make her own. So this is the money we use for our lessons. She likes using coins more than any other manipulative. So the reason I got the kit is because, oh, and it comes with the math notebook as well. And this is her math notebook. I have a video coming on notebooking, but that's, so that's for another day. But this is her little math notebook. She can write her equations in there, super cute. Guys, oh, I don't even know where to begin with how much I love this program. Um, but basically, yes, so you buy that kit. I keep everything in a basket. So everything is in this basket and when it's time for us to do arithmetic each day, we have a 20 minute lesson, um, five days a week, and this is where I keep it. So I've got the book. Um, aside from it being just absolutely beautiful, um, there's a huge section in the beginning that it kind of um, describes just the process of how um, Rochelle has you teaching math to your child. There's an overview of the program. Um, here's a little look inside. So you have the lesson. Oh, my band-aid. I cut myself when I was slicing bread. Homemaker problems. Um, okay, so 40 through 49, that is the section we're on right now. The first part of the book is actually a little different, and I'll show you that in a second. But we're on this, and there's a few sets in each one. Um, I'll read you a couple of sample questions. So tomorrow, this is our lesson. It says, um, here's the symbol for the idea. Let's see. 
So you have five questions here, and the object uses beads. This is actually an introduction to four, numbers 40 through 49. So I'll take out um, I'll take out the beads, and then this is just having her in, introduced to 40 through 49. But when we were doing 30 through 39, we did this once, and then we had six or seven lessons where we just worked with the numbers. So I love how um, Rochelle scripts the lessons because it's very easy to understand. It is definitely open and go, um, which I think is good for math. It is not worksheet based. This is amazing. So here's an example. Have your child get out four 10 bundles in beads. So that's four bundles of 10 and ask, we know that three bundles are 30. What do you suppose four 10 bundles are called? It's basically just an amazing Charlotte Mason math curriculum, you guys. The way that she structures the questions. Um, so in a, num a question here, I would sit down and I would read from this in a lesson. There's about five um, sums here. So this is set two. We'll do that on Tuesday. It says here, object used is coins. So Julian spent 20 cents on a rubber stamp and 20 cents on an eraser. How much did he spend in all? So my daughter would take 20, she'd find 20 with the coins, and then she would find that 20 and 20 is 40. And we would do that with five different sums, okay? And then, this is a whole lesson, five different sums, and then we have our review and our rapid oral work. So five, five questions of review where we're going through the numbers we've studied previously, zero through 39. And it says, Ryan had 23 stamps in his collection. His grandfather gave him eight more. How many does he have now? That's a question. And she has to figure out with her manipulatives or if it's one that she can do in her head. A lot of them, because of the repetition and because of the wonderful organization of this program, my daughter has memorized those basic um, lower number sums. And then there's this part here where she does the 15, minus, 15 seals minus two seals six clouds plus five clouds. So they're just quick, um, rapid oral work that you want your child to eventually be able to answer quickly. Um, why is this a good program versus other programs? Number one, it is not a worksheet-based math program. My friends, most children don't do well with worksheet-based programs. They just don't. They want to work with manipulatives. They want their hands to be busy. Um, there's a lot of, number two, there's a lot of repetition. Um, there's a ton of repetition, but it's in a way that's not um, monotonous. Um, she uses real life scenarios. Um, uh, Sam went and, on a nature walk with his family and found three pine cones. Then he found four more pine cones. How many does he have? My daughter loves those questions because they relate to her life. Um, number three, there's no exams or tests aside from an oral exam, one per term. The exams are in the back of the book. They're right here. So the exam is four questions. Term one was this. How many are four and five cents? How many are five cents and four cents? Number two, show two different ways to make eight. Number three, read the following numbers as I write them. Seven, four, six, and two. Number four, write the following numbers as I say them. Five, three. Okay, so obviously I'd give more time between each uh, question when I'm giving my daughter the exam. That is the term one exam. <laughs> um, so the way that she structures these books is just so clever. Um, as someone who does not really enjoy math, I do now, <laughs> but as someone who didn't enjoy math in school, I find this very easy to teach. Um, I truly don't have any complaints about this program. I don't. It's, it's really a work of art. Um, it is effective. My daughter has done so well with it. Um, and if you are confused on what you should use for your child and they are of age six, she has a little placement test. If your child's eight or nine or 10, um, she has a placement test you can do on her website, I believe, where you can choose and see which book you need. But this is book one. Um, again, it was a wonderful program for us. I am so thankful for it. And let me know if you have any questions. I hope this video was helpful for you. Um, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.